I'm presenting works in this exhibition uh, based on uh, works I've produced since 2017. Um, behind me here is um, Retainers of Anarchy, which was completed in 2017 and first exhibited at the Vancouver Art Gallery. It is a five channel algorithmic animation sequence, which um, actually took me about four years of production time. And then following this work, there are three lenticular prints, which I would say are material, physical translations of the media work or elements of the media work. They're mounted in light box. So they convey this idea of like shifting and motion, dithering images, except in kind of a static object. In the next room, there are works on goat skin. And that's a uh, unique ink works with calligraphic brush and also a kind of inverted neon print version of that image that's in light box. And so it's to resemble kind of movie posters, like illuminated movie posters prior to entering a movie. And then there's a single channel media work, which is my newest animation work called Parallax Chambers. And that also functions similar to Retainers of Anarchy in that they're live rendering media works that move in different directions and don't have a set start or end or fixed narrative path. In the Claire story, uh, I've reprised and augmented a site-specific drawing project where spectral figures seem to be materializing in the space. The process involves creating these automatic drawings on rice paper that soaks and transfers through onto the walls. I then tease out the definition of these figures through a smoke staining technique by burning matches. I also experimented with adding a new wrinkle to this project by integrating jaw sticks in the installation. The practice of burning jaw sticks as offerings to departed ancestors is a common practice in Hong Kong. So I was interested in the interplay between these offerings and the uh, haunting figures. As well, the jaw sticks are arranged based on two ancient diagrams that influence the writing of the I Ching, Feng Shui principles, Taoist geomancy, and uh, Chinese traditional medicine. You know, mostly in my practice, I tend to look back and think about aspects of visual culture that informed my artistic language. And this genre of martial arts fiction I grew up with and, and had a big impact on me. But at that time, I was like, you know, seven, eight to nine years old. So I only saw it in one way. But by researching about the genre again, I learned about how this form of fiction was censored in mainland China. And a lot of the practitioners, the authors of this type of storytelling, had to kind of escape and found a safe place in Hong Kong to continue writing these stories. I thought it was kind of interesting to use the same genre that was censored to maybe comment on the state of freedom of speech or creative autonomy in Hong Kong, which is a very you know, tenuous place right now. The work is supposed to examine these ideas of chaos and social order and social harmony. The work may seem kind of chaotic because the computer is making all these decisions on what, what's happening, where it's going, but there's a self-organized system in the programming. Some of the locations that are in this work depict self-organized societies, societies where a community kind of decides how they operate and what are our codes and how do we function, opposed to a top-down, authoritative hand that 
establishes how things work.